going on guys it's jack banks nba and today we are looking at jalen bridges a forward wing from baylor redshirt senior spent his first three years at west virginia before spending his last two with the baylor bears and at 23 years old he is an older draft prospect but i think he deserves consideration in this year's draft because of some of the weakness but also because Jalen Bridges has a clear NBA role and has been playing so effectively for the past couple of years, but really did an excellent job at it this past season at Baylor. So Bridges is a ready-made 3 and D wing, and he averaged, you know, around 12.6 rebounds a game last year at Baylor, and he shot 46% from the field, 41% from three on five attempts, and most importantly for me, he did it on low attempts, two, two and a half attempts from the free throw line, but 82% from the free throw line, which says that three point shooting is legit. And, you know, even before that, you know, the past couple of years, it was like low to mid thirties. And then his freshman year, redshirt freshman year was 40%. So I think he could end up being like a 37, 38% NBA three point shooter realistically and he has confidence in his shot um he doesn't have like there's not a lot of times you'll see bridges um hesitate to get it off and then you know um he can shoot it from different spots around the three-point arc so it's not like he has to rely on one different area or another um and then on the flip side he's a multi-positional defender so he can guard the two the three and some fours depending on um, the player and the matchup and he can really rebound at over six rebounds a game for Baylor um, for a forward or wing. That's a really solid number for a guy who's like 6'7", 2'10", 2'15", somewhere in that range. So the number one thing, and I, I said it at the start of this video as a guy who I think is coming in with a ready-made role, is that Bridges knows who he is as a player. And I think that's gonna really help him get off to a good start at the NBA level. Now, do I think that means he comes in um, and immediately has minutes? No, there's a very realistic chance that he starts off at the G League level, but I think he's a guy who NBA teams will look at and see a solid defender, you know, over one steal a game, over half a block per game last season. Um, and as in a good three-point shooter and say we can plug this guy in in between our stars And he's gonna help us defensively and not hurt us really help us with spacing offensively So I see that as a win-win for Bridges some of his weaknesses He's he's not a shot creator nor is he a playmaker and I think honestly that um was kind of said with his strengths like we, he knows who he is he's not going to try to be those kind of play those kind of players and he's comfortable in his role as an off the ball guy um, who you know at the NBA level may get six attempts a game and four of those are going to be threes off the bench he's a solid athlete not a great athlete um, he's not like a, a leaper he's not somebody who, who has incredible quickness which would make him like a, a really good on-ball defender. He's like a solid on-ball defender, not anything spectacular. So I think for, for these reasons, right, and his age, he's not somebody who is really being considered, nor should he be a first round pick, but he is somebody who I think, and I would draft somewhere in the second round, probably after pick 37, 38, I would really start considering Bridges as a guy who, I would want to take um, in that mid to late second round rather than hoping I could get him as an undrafted free agent. So teams, really winning teams, I think he could be a great fit on. You know, teams like the Mavs, they could look to add another wing behind um, PJ Washington and Derek Jones. Maybe the Knicks could look to add some wing depth. He could fit in there. The Warriors, depending on what happens this summer, could certainly look to, to add some depth to their team. And as a guy who I expect to come in and be able to play right away, could definitely help a winning team. So some comps for Jalen Bridges, you know, um, Patrick Williams to an extent, like a poor man's Patrick Williams, Torian Prince, even like a guy like Tony Snell, just guys who know who they are as a 3 and D wing, aren't necessarily like 
really good individual defenders, but solid team defenders and can hit the three from various spots along the arc. So let me know what you guys think about Jalen Bridges. A little bit of an under the radar prospect, but somebody who I think could play, you know, five to eight years at the NBA level. So please like this video, comment below, like I said before, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're going to keep pumping out great NBA draft content and then more basketball content once we get to the summer and fall. See you guys next time. Peace.